is it worth getting home solar and a battery in 2026? I'm about to find out. So my 15 year old solar panels are being removed and reused by a bunch of young fellas who have gone in on a group house in the next suburb. The night before I cleared an area next to the house and laid down a slab for the battery. So the batteries are going on. Each one of these is an individual battery, five kilowatts per battery. And all the electrical connectors spot straight on top. So these guys are about to flip another one on. You can add a whole bunch of them together to get the right amount of kilowatts for all your needs. I'm getting eight of these battery segments, which will add together to make 40 kilowatt battery, the SunGrow SBH 400. While this was going on, 22 kilowatts of solar panels were going on the roof. Final steps were the inverter and a stack load of electrical work from George. <laughs> So it's the end of the first day. The battery indicator is showing it's 100% full. It was empty at the start of the day. And on the app, it says I made 56 kilowatts today, which is more than enough to fill the 40 kilowatt battery and send about 16 back to the grid, minus what we use in the house. I imagine that from now on, I can probably disconnect from the grid. I normally use about 20 kilowatts a day, but it's a cloudy day today. Even then we made heaps more energy than we needed. So the whole system would cost about $34,500 after rebates and not everybody can afford that. If you could though, it'd pay itself off in about four to five years. And then after that, you'd be financially ahead. When you consider the environmental benefits and the fact that if there's a blackout, you're still gonna have power, they are some extra added bonuses. I'll put out a YouTube video in a week or two showing more detail. And I'll put out another reel in about three months time so you can see how it's gone over that time.